really expect them to not get along. Uh, they did not know each other very well at the beginning, and of course Jefferson was not even in the country at the beginning, so he came in kind of late. Um, and so he, he did not anticipate that there would be this rivalry, and apparently they did not either. Uh, that it, at first, for the first few months after Jefferson actually took his place, they did seemingly uh, get along. But it but it it happens later, and how and it caught Washington by surprise, uh, I think. And one of the things that that we emphasize uh, in the book is that that Washington wanted harmony. Uh, and so as this rivalry became, and I think at first he didn't even realize that it was happening. But as it became apparent that it was happening, uh, I think it, it greatly disturbed him, and that that is one thing that he he desperately wanted in his administration was harmony, uh, and of course he wasn't going to have it. Yeah, he was uh, as as the the uh, revelations of this in, uh, pretty intense dislike between Hamilton and Jefferson emerged. Washington was uh, at last aware of it. But he did not necessarily want it to uh, cause a rupture in his official family because of how it would appear. This, the stability of the government in terms of continuity of, in, in office, uh, even if it did not exist, the appearance of harmony, mm -hmm. he thought, was, was quite important, uh, as, much, as much so as, as if it didn't exist, even more so, it appeared that way. So when Jefferson tried to resign, Washington talked him out of it even though it would have been um, certainly a, a more congenial atmosphere if Jefferson and Hamilton had not been so at daggers with each other.